Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a t-shirt mask without sewing. All you'll need is a good pair of scissors, some duct tape, a shot glass, a grocery twist tie or paper clip, a sharpie and a pencil, and a ruler. Take a, an old t-shirt and what you want to do is measure uh, your face, because everybody's face is different. You want to measure from your, the bridge of your nose down to the base of your chin. And you can use the t-shirt to do that. So just take one end. And for me, a ruler. It's about, it's about eight, eight inches. So we're going to take uh, our ruler. And if you don't have a ruler, then use a piece of paper to, to jot down the length. Take our t-shirt and we're going to mark out eight inches. Now you can also use a sharpie or if it's a dark t-shirt use a crayon or chalk. And it's not super, super critical that you uh, get the measurement uh, dead on, but you want to have just enough material. And it looks like we're going to be able to make three strips out of this, this one old t-shirt. So just want to mark off guidelines for you to cut along. Remember the old adage, measure twice, cut once. Now, if we've got three strips, we're actually going to be able to make up to six masks. Actually, um, a little bit more than that, but the ones that we're going to be making today that don't require any sewing, um, we'll be able to make uh, six of them. So, just cut carefully along the line that you drew. And you want to be make sure that you cut both sides of the of the shirt. Now, make sure that you have a hundred percent cotton uh, T-shirt. The reason being is that uh, during the last uh, coronavirus outbreak, which was SARS, SARS was actually a a, a coronavirus. Uh, after that outbreak, um, a research team at Cambridge did a study on what kind of materials would best uh, could best uh, be used to make a mask using just common household materials. So they tested both t-shirts and uh, towels and paper towels and uh, pillow sheets and what they found uh, surprisingly enough was uh, that uh, they recommended t-shirts because it uh, gave about 60% um, as much protection in terms of filtering as a surgical mask, um, but also prov provided uh, enough breathability that it wasn't difficult and fatiguing to breathe through it. And they also noted that uh, one layer of t-shirt material was best because doubling up, surprisingly enough, doesn't make uh, the uh, mask twice as filtering. It only uh, raise it up about 20-30 uh, percent, uh, but it uh, effectively doubled the resistance to, to breathing. So they actually recommended just one, um, one layer. Now, when you get to the top, what you want to do is you want to cut off the sleeves. And we're going to save those for later. I'll uh, post up a link for, for you. There's a, uh, another um, wonderful um, do-it-yourself guide on how to turn these sleeves into uh, masks. So we'll cut those off. Okay, sleeves, I'll put those aside, save them for later for another project. And you also want to save the collar.
All right, so once you have your strips, t-shirt strips, you want to cut along the edge to split them in half. So the reason why we're, everybody should be wearing masks is actually not to protect yourselves, but to protect everybody else. And that's just like social distancing. Uh, what masks, face masks do is actually they capture the little micro droplets of our breath that uh, we exhale constantly, whether we're, we're breathing or sneezing or talking. Uh, little micro droplets of moisture are exhaled uh, out of our out of our lungs and viruses actually are in those little particles now what mass what these masks do and what surgical masks do is they trap those micro droplets in the material and keep them from spreading around that's the reason why we uh, social distance not just to protect ourselves but really more to protect everyone else around us uh, one of the reasons why uh, the coronavirus uh, COVID-19 has been so so um, good at spreading uh, and becoming a pandemic is because um, of asymptomatic spread. That means um, people don't, asymptomatic means you don't have any symptoms, that there, um, people are walking around for as many as 14 days and not realizing that they have the virus in them, that they are infected, but that they don't feel any symptoms. They don't feel any, um, there no fever, no aches and pains, no coughing. Uh, and those symptoms don't show up for as many as 14 days. Uh, and so during that time, they're spreading the virus around to the friends, family, and people they work with. And this is the reason why it, it's, it, it's totally helpful to, to, to wear a mask all the time when you're outside because you could be inadvertently spreading the virus. Okay, so we're gonna take uh, one of our strips and what we're gonna do is uh, find the center and then we're going to stretch it over the front of our face, making sure that we stretch it pretty tight. What you want to do is find, once we have that stretch across our face tight, find where the material centers in our ears, our ears, and pinch and mark that spot with a marker. And this is where our ear holes will go. What we wanna do is, uh, once we've found those spots, take a shot glass, and everybody's uh, ears are you know, a little bit different, but they're actually smaller than you might think because we're just measuring the base of our ears. So for me, shot glass, and for a lot of people, a shot glass will be perfect for that. So what you want to do is find where uh, your marker points are and draw a circle on your fabric strip. And just fold the material halfway around the circle and then just cut around, just like cutting hearts for Valentine's. Once you're done, if you measure carefully, you have a mask. Now what you can do is actually you can take the lower half, lower corners of that, and you can tie it behind your head for a, a, a tighter seal. or you can get a binder clip to do that. Uh, now, if you do have gaps around your nose because of the way your face is shaped, what you can do 
is um, you could take a grocery twist tie, or if you don't have that, uh, if you have uh, paper clips at home, straighten them out. And you have uh, this um, basically a piece of wire. And if you don't have that, you take uh, some aluminum foil, take a strip, and then roll it up so that you have basically the same thing. What you want to do is take that, take the uh, grocery twist tie in this case, find your center, again, finding center where, where your nose is, is going to be. Then take some duct tape. I'm going to measure out just enough to get the cover up the length of that twist tie. And then just tape the twist tie down. You want this on the outside because you want the fabric around your face to, for the best seal. But then, you put that on, back on. You can mold the material around the bridge of your nose. And then again, taking uh, the lower ends, tying it behind your head. Now, you have a working mask without sewing. Now, it's important uh, that you have multiple masks so you can change them out during the day. It's, uh, it's a good idea to, to change out at least every two hours. And fortunately, with this technique, you're able to make at least six masks from one t-shirt. Now, it's important that when you do go, anytime you go out, uh, that when, as soon as you get back home, you take off your mask, Make sure you fold the outside in on itself. Just drop this into the laundry or a bucket with warm soapy water and, and add that to your laundry. Um, just soap and water is enough to kill the virus. Uh, just like you use soap and water to wash your hands to disinfect. It's important to swap these out every time you go out and come back home. And it's important if you have to be outside for, for longer than uh, two hours to have to carry spares of these uh, to to change them out. So if all these of all of us could uh, could just wear some masks, uh, we'll get through this so much faster. Thank you.